Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. So um, a few videos back I showed you the recipe book um, that I created with the new doodle bug um, with love uh, which I made this one for Anna. Um, you can uh, go back uh, a couple videos ago or I'll link it in this uh, video as well if you would like a flip through of this. <laughs> but the purpose of me creating this um was because this year um we're gonna start doing uh, some cooking together and uh, we'll kind of alternate who uh, picks the recipe and then if it's one that we love because we're gonna do it twice a month we'll go ahead and add it in our recipe book that we can keep uh, for forever um you know and, and incorporate in into our um regular uh, menu if you want to call it that way uh call it that so Anyways, this is the one that I created for her. So of course, you know that I had to create one for myself. Um, I absolutely love how hers came out and I love that uh, new paper line, the With Love. Um, but I went a different direction for mine. Um, I did use Doodlebug as well. Um, so let me move this out of the way. So um, I decided to go with this paper collection which uh, came out last summer that's called barbecue um this one is also food themed um it's more of a summer collection but it doesn't matter because we're going to be using this all year long um and quite frankly any doodle bug would have done because they're all so cute but it just so happens that um the one i used for her as well as the one uh, that i used for my mine has like a lot of food themes in it so that's why i chose this one so let's just jump right in and i'll show you guys what i created uh, for mine um, so here's the, um, the one that I created. Um, I did, I was able to put some charms on hers based on how the rings were, but in order to match mine, um, I used these little cute little smiley face, um, happy planner discs. Um, so, um, I went ahead and went with that, but I did not add any charms. I could add a paper clip with some dangles on it, which I may do that later. But for now, I did not, um, I haven't added anything onto it. Let me lift my camera up just a little bit. Now, a couple of people were asking me before I do a flip through on this. <coughs> um, this is the punch that I was talking about. It's the Create 365 Happy Planner Punch. You can use this. They also have one that has this like a single one, but because I needed multiples for this, this is like the, the better one to select from. And I don't own the other one. I only own this one, but you can get this at Hobby Lobby or Michaels um, to create planners or, or, you know, inserts for planners as well as how, because I did this like in a planner style and that's why I use the Happy Planner rings because this is what uh, works best for me. So this is the one that I'm talking about for those those of you who are interested in making this, this is what I use. You can also, if you don't have this, if you have a a, a um a punch or a what is the thing I'm thinking about? The crocodile. You can make your holes that way as well because it'll cut a hole, and then you just have to cut like a small little slit. Um, so you can create a hole and then you can just cut this small little slit um, and it does the same thing. I've created pages that way as well. So if you don't have this punch, um, this I think is like $29.99, but of course, if you use a coupon, you can get it on sale. Um, but again, that's what I used. And also, I'm not going to do a um, a tutorial on this because it would take forever. But um, I will tell you that all of the pages that I've used is six and a half by four and a half inches. And then I just, um, what I did was I sandwiched um, all of the uh, individual in um, pieces in here with some uh, 110. So, um, and then I just put the pattern paper on both sides. Now, what I will tell you is this thing is really thin. So if you are planning on using, or like the slot is really small. So what I had to do is I had to cut the 110 piece, punch the holes. Then I had to cut the other two pieces, um, separately and then I then I went ahead and used my tape runner to adhere them. If you try to stick all three of them in here after you've already taped them or glued them, 
it's going to be really hard because it's really super thin in here. So that's just a heads up uh, if you are interested in making these. And if you are planning on using like a thicker cardstock along with your... Um, with your 110 because it does make it a lot sturdier but just keep that in mind that this is it does it doesn't have very much space in there um and like if you're doing laminate um like i did on the cover of this you can only do one sheet at a time don't try to do multiples because it will get jammed and stuck in there and then if you try to pull it out it's going to rip it so just that's something to keep in mind if if anybody is planning on making something similar to this so let's go ahead and jump right in and i'll show you what mine looks like i just love this besides blue red is my second favorite color so again i use the yellow happy planner rings to play off of the yellows and the colors that go along with this collection so um i did do a lamination sheet like i did on the other one um and i just uh laminated some a uh, little tiny sequins it's not actually sequins it's whatever these are these recollection um they're sequin ish but they i think they actually call it um like glitter like chunky glitter but um I, they're just small pieces of sequins so that's what i laminated you could use real um sequins but just make sure they're the flat kind and not the cup kind and then here's my first page so cute so um i did die cut this out uh using one of my dies and then i layered some of the um odds and ends on top here i also added this little piece down here um these are so cute these are little ants i uh, came with it as well um they're not doodle pops, it's the other thing. You guys know what it's called. Um, it's the other little sticker sheet that you can get with it. Um, what is it called? I can't think of it. It'll come to me as I'm talking. But I added some of the little ants, um, these little cute little um, ants on here, uh, just in various places. And of course I use the uh, corn and chicken um, a piece of pattern paper so again i did you can kind of see how thick that is that's because i sandwiched in some 110 in between and then here's the back side of that and i try to use as much chit chat and as much of the stuff that i could you get so much when you buy doodle bug you guys know if you purchase the whole collection you get a lot of like um chit chat pieces a lot of odds and ends so i just use you know as much as i could because i wanted it to be kind of jammed packed um so i did use this die from uh, my um from my own stash and then I added this cute little um, piece of chit chat on top, not chit chat, uh, one of the odds and ends on there. This was also, it was either in the odds and ends or um, in the chit chat, I don't remember, but it is a long piece, but I kind of cut it um, so that I, and I did it this way, but technically this would be one long banner but of course you know based on the size of this i wouldn't be able to fit it and then i just added this little sticker this is from the sticker page that comes with all of their collections then i added in a couple of clear sheets in various places um because i do have uh, the small mini printer like the the polaroid and it prints out little tiny pictures so i'm planning on adding a couple pictures onto this and i could also add some onto the back um, i just added an odds and end here and then i add one of these at the top but i could um, put a few pictures on here and if i need more i can always laminate more sheets um, i'm not going to take a picture of all of the things that i cook but i probably will take some like i could add two pictures here and then i could add some on the back if i wanted um, and then this is where I now this um, these recipe cards came with the made for love, but it's okay. It's doodle bug. It all matches. Um, so I just added some of these in uh, very similar to how I did Anna's so cute i'll just flip through one stack of these for those of you who didn't see my original video and are not familiar um so it it has a space for the ingredients on the front and then on the back of each card is where you can go ahead and add the directions on how to prepare the item um so i added six of these in between each section and then here's another one these are so fun to make. You could knock this out in one day easily. There's another one. 
and then I think that's the last one. And then here's the next section that I created. Um, again, using some of the odds and ends, I did this picnic table, and then I added this up here at the top that says family. This is a sticker from the back page. I did put this up on foam tape. This one I just um, taped down to the actual paper. Um, on most of the sticker sheets, it has these little fun tabs on there. So I took the tabs and I um, put it down on paper because it is a sticker. And then I just fussy cut that out. So the first one says barbecue. And then here's the back side of that. And again, just using some of the paper from the collection. I hate glue strings, you guys. You know I do. Those of you who follow me, it like will bug me until I move it. <laughs> Okay, so anyways, um, this is one of the cut aparts. Um, this is one of the pieces of paper from the collection. I just uh, cut it down uh, to size. And then this is um, one of the cute little um, odds and ends. Look at that little cheeseburger, so cute. Then I added this up here that says catch on the flip side. And then this is where I put like a little, um, I made like a little bookmark um, out of some of the remaining lamination paper that I had, but this can be moved around. So to kind of keep my place in the book. And then I just, um, just added this piece of chit chat on here that says picnic. And I added some more of these enamel uh, stickers with the little ants. Um, that sheet comes with ants and the little hearts with it. And I just put a couple on there. And then, of course, I have um, some more um, recipe cards in here. And then um, this piece right here, this is actually an envelope that I added in there. Um, and the closure is just this, um, this little clip that I have on here just to keep it closed. Um, and then I put a little red bow on top of it. And then I also did a gingham one, but this can be moved. I just put it here for the video. I just put them on the same sheet, but I'm, I'm not gonna keep it here. But um, I just added that as well as the bow in there. Those bows are pretty flat. So once you close it up, it, it doesn't make too much of a, it doesn't make it too fluffy, I should say. Then here's the, and it just opens. I don't have any other closure on it besides the paper clip. Um, and then here's the next section, which they had some cute little clouds and hot air balloons, and it just says good times. And I use this, this is one of my favorite sheets in this paper, these little cherries with the faces on it. Is that like not the cutest? Absolutely love it. And then here's what I did on the back side, kind of like it was a picnic. I put a cute little tree and I put the picnic basket. Then I added this little sticker from the sticker sheet and then I put the sun up there. Um, I also added these cute um, little post-it notes with the lines in here. I did some on the front and the back. And um, this is similar to how I did Anna's. And this is for like, if I'm gonna do a recipe and I need a couple of ingredients, my intention is to write down what I need from the grocery store and just peel it off and take it with me. Then the next section, I have some more recipe cards. I love this little lemonade, isn't that the cutest? Um, I did die cut out this heart and I added these, uh, the lemonade and the lemon and the little heart on a little bit of foam tape. I put this little sticker that says fresh lemonade and then at the top it says sweet summer fun. And then here's my second little tab that was on the back of the sticker sheet. I just love Doodle Pop. It just makes, I'm mean, not Doodle Pop, Doodle Bug. It just makes me so happy. Um, and then here's the back side. I added another cute little um, piece of the chit chat. This is one of the uh, cute little odds and ends. And I just layered that heart on there. These are little tab stickers. So I just added those in uh, two different colors. And those, of course, can be peeled off and moved to wherever I want in the book. And then here's another space for some more pictures, another laminated sheet, and it just says fun at the top. So I can do some more pictures and then more recipe cards. And then I decorated this one. I just layered some paper and this is one of the cut aparts. And I add the cute little cherries and the little lemon up there. I also added my clip here for my pen and I just added a, a little pen there. And then here's the third tab that I had that was on the sticker sheet that says summer. 
And then here's the back side. My one and only doodle pop that I used. <laughs> So I die cut out a star and I put this cute, I love this one, um, this cute little barbecue grill. Look at the hot dogs. And then it has ketchup and mustard. And then I just added that little piece up there at the top. And then here's a, my last section for pictures. And then I added these cute little um, watermelon slices. And then it just says sweet summertime. And then I have the uh, last set of recipe cards there. And then at the on uh, this is the last piece of uh, cardstock that I have in here. So I just layered some of the polka dot paper with a cut apart. I added these cute little soda pops at the bottom. But how cute is this paper with the hamburgers and the little spatulas? That is so cute. I just love this collection. And then here's the back side. It just says grilling and chilling. This is one of the stickers. And then I, this is one of the pieces of chit chat up on foam. And then that's the back. And then I just added one more piece of laminate. So I absolutely love how this came out. Now, let me tell you guys, I changed hers too, because she like threatened my life. <laughs> Instead of mine is cuter that I better fix her. You know what? I I gotta love her, but she is a pain in the butt. <laughs> so this is hers and this is mine. So we'll start doing our fun little recipes. And I told her next year that she is making these for us. So um, we'll like alternate. So our plan is to, you know, just do this throughout the years and we can save these and all the fun recipes that we come up with uh, over time. So Again, I'm not even going to show her what I did different in here because she's a brat. <laughs> so I told her, you'll just have to wait and see when you get it. So, ha. So anyways, um, so, and again, if you want to take a look at this one, just go back a couple of videos. Uh, I'll probably link it in the, the description box below, but... Thank you so much for watching and taking a look. And again, this is the punch that you'll need. So if you're interested, I, I know I got a couple comments saying some people were going to try it, but this is the, the punch that I use. And just pick yourself up some Happy Planner rings. And then it's very easy. You see, once you, you know, kind of cut them on there, they just pop on and off really easily once you make that little cut with the, um, with the Happy Planner punch. But just, again, make sure not to put too much paper in there. I've done it a million times and I've learned my lesson. It gets stuck. This is very thin. It's really like the maximum you would want to put in there is one piece of 110. You could do two pieces of 65 pound weight, but that's it because otherwise it could potentially get stuck and then you ruin your paper. So happy crafting. I'll talk to you guys all very soon. If you have any questions, don't forget to leave them in the comment section. And I will link my other video in the description box. And of course, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. And I'll see you guys all very soon. Bye.